In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to run the mesh concept in Madden 23 out of the normal Y off close formation. Normal Y off close to me is a very underrated formation that has a lot of uh, flexibility and really good for air raid principles. You guys know I love the air raid offense and the mesh concept is a concept that every year is really good at beating man to man coverage. If you guys want to get my entire normal Y off close offensive ebook, it's going to be dropping in our Patreon later this week. We just dropped a brand new offense in there yesterday as well. So make sure you're a Patreon member. It's only $10 to become one. Get you access to everything, all of our ebooks, all of our updates to those ebooks. Mesh spot is what we're going to call. We're going to be utilizing this to run the mesh play. And the setup for this is really simple. We're just going to take the left side. Uh, well, I think actually I flipped the formation. So let me actually come back out and make sure it's right for you guys. You can run it flipped. I actually think if you have a left-handed quarterback, you want to run it flipped. Um, but anyway, mesh spot. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to put CD Lamb on a post. We're going to take Herman Moore and we're going to put him on a flat. And then we're going to drag Michael Thomas. Now, what this does is it attacks man coverage at a really, really high level. These drags are going to get you consistent separation against man. Now, one of the defenses that I actually uh, get a lot when I run this is this double loop man blitz. So if you take a look at this here, um, not a bad defense, but the running back has a significant advantage to the outside here. So we can just either throw the ball to the running back or we can hit that route to CD Lamb on that post pattern. Now, another thing that we can do, you gotta understand that typically speaking, their user is going to be basically kind of cutting these crossers in the middle of the field. So what you can also do in that scenario is use the C route on the left side. When you use the C route on the left side, you can basically highball the C route before the pressure gets there. And you see that that can also serve as a really, really good way to attack man coverage. It's all about having quick reads that beat the man blitzes super, super fast. Now, uh, let's say that you're playing and they're running some type of zone blitz on you, right? So they're using these these flat routes. What I what I like to do against any kind of zone blitz is typically, like I said, they're going to be lurking in the middle. They're probably going to run with the tight end. So what I'm going to do is real simple. Typically, I like to hit this drag on the left side. You see right in that little pocket right there, able to hit that against any kind of zone blitz super simple now what this does is it kind of funnels them into having to play drop eight coverage which i actually prefer i'd, I'd rather play drop eight than pressure um just because the blitz you can so it can sometimes be unpredictable as to whether or not the blitz is going to come in but what you see against these drop eight coverages is we're going to force them to have to play some type of hard flat the problem is when they start to play hard flats consistently then what you're going to notice is this high ball little uh post super effective against against that so if you think about it what's going to happen is chances are anyway their user is going to basically kind of come down into the middle of the field so what we're going to be able to do is we're just going to be able to kind of let this pull these routes out and you see there we can kind of throw that in behind the user and if you high point it for the most part it's going to be fairly consistent now another thing that i like to do specifically against press man coverage is utilize this fade route that is already built into the play because what you're going to be able to do now especially if in a drop eight coverage is that it's going to clear out all the zones you can actually throw that post over in that little pocket as well so it creates multi-window throws for your offense now as we kind of work through this a little bit mesh can be ran in a variety of ways one of the other ways that i like to run mesh is to just flat cd lamb and then we're going to still we have basically a lot of flat routes here we got to have flat route to more flat route to lamb and then we're going to drag michael thomas what you're going to see against man coverage is once again you're tied in uh, for the most part is going to be pretty decent against man essentially it's really a one two read um, it's really, if you think about it, it's really a one to read against man coverage if you're tight in or you're back. So this is why this flat route to more is so important because it's going to pull flat zones out. But what you'll see here is if they jump to the back, then I want to try to throw that ball, maybe just wait on it just a little bit more, but I want to hit it quick. I, I don't want to, I don't want to dilly dally on this route to George Kittle. I want him to get the ball if they run to the running backs. You see here. They run in the running back. I'm going to wait on it right about there in that little pocket, and we're going to turn it up the field and get five, six yards. The mesh is meant to be kind of a, a quick hitting play. Now, if they're blitzing me, let me show you something else with this. So let's say that they're sending heat, okay, and the user is going to sit in the middle of the field. 
if they're blitzing me with this play, I'm doing the same thing. So I'm looking right. Can I throw it? Nope. He crossed. Okay, we're going to throw right there to the tight end. So I can kind of, you know, again, if I if I can really read that tight end well, if they're not careful, now what that's going to lead to, I'll show you real quick, is this guy as a user is going to basically lurk down with this tight end. Now this is why the post route is such an important route. So once you see the user kind of cut the tight end crosser, then what you have to be able to do here is you have to be able to throw that ball to the post uh, relatively quickly, uh, relatively clicky on, click, click quickly on this. So, you know, again, let me show you the double loop. You know, so again, they set it up, do something like this. And the user kind of, just to illustrate, kind of a hard fly. He's going to, again, he's going to kind of practically speaking, he's going to basically flow with the tight end crosser. So when you see that happen, you're still going to get that same action from the safeties and a man pressure. So what you're looking to do here is just basically freeform that over the middle of the field just like that. So if they're going to send heat like that, you've got to be prepared to, if they're going to, you're basically saying, are you taking the tight end or are you taking CD Lamb? And um, obviously you can block pressure uh, or you can dot pressure. And, and I just find this year blocking pressure is, or uh, dotting pressure is significantly easier than trying to block the pressure. Now, another thing that you can do um, is if you streak or if you take CD Lamb and you put him on a post and then basically streak the tight end almost, uh, sometimes what it can do is it can create like these little mismatches over the top where you can ag. So that's kind of just a little bit of a, you know, kind of pro tip. Another thing that I wanted to also say about this, again, this is specifically for, you know, cover zero, and they're going to lurk. They're going to have a really, they're going to have to have a really good lurk over the middle of the field. Um, you know, so anyways, this is kind of what I'm doing right now, especially you can do something like this post right here, um, you know, and throw that post or hit your drag on the left side. So this is a super simple play out of normal while close. Now, again, when you start to, if they're going to start to play like five man coverage on you, like they're going to send five every play, then what I like to do with this specific play, like I said, is some type of, I'll block the running back. And this is the one couple times where I'll leave them in, try to pick up this pressure. And then if I pick it up, I'm going to have a chance at a pretty big play on that C route. So if they're consistently sending five, you've got to kind of play that chess match. But really the beauty of this play is it can attack in a lot of different ways. It's really good against man. It's really good against the blitz if you can make the read. And really the progression is you want to look to, at the post route. Really you want to look at the post route first. And then you want to work down to your mesh. And then you want to um, hit your back. Well, really you're going to go post to wheel to mesh. So your running back is actually your number two read. So you're looking post, no, wheel, no, okay, mesh, yes, try to get the ball to your drags. That's kind of how I like to read this play against man or zone. And if you're putting this go route out there, then you want to say, okay, we're going to read that fade first. Okay, he lets, he lights up, so we're going to try to get that ball over the top against press man. So you can, um, especially if you put short out of lead out there, you can have a read that's pretty good against that. But really the main bread and butter of this play is is this right here. Um, that route is going to be your bread and butter route on this play because most people are not going to want to give that up. If they do uh, come down on that, then you're going to be able to throw that in behind it. So that's the whole idea of mesh is throw where they blitz from, basically. So anyways, that's how you run the mesh concept out of the normal Y off close. If you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, make sure that you're in the Patreon. I'll be dropping that ebook later this week. Uh, Patreon members will get access to that as soon as it comes out. Uh, and then as well as they get access to all of our other ebooks and all of our updates for those ebooks. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and the link is down there.